What's up, YouTube? I'm Tony Davis, and this is T3D Lifestyle, so check it. Today, we're going to take a look at this very special pair of Reebok sneakers, so don't go nowhere. All right, so check it out. Um, if you know me, if you've watched some of my videos, you know that I am mostly, uh, majority of sneakers, about 95, 90% of the sneakers in my closet are Nike, specifically Jordan brand sneakers. So, uh, you know, I'm a big Jordan, Jordan uh, sneaker person, but uh, occasionally from time to time, my wife likes to shake it up. She likes to buy me something different, throw something out of left field. So. Uh, behold, yesterday uh, got this package in the, a package in the mail, and uh, I opened it up, and it was these. She always surprises me with different things. Um, there'll probably be other videos that I shoot where you'll sh I'll show you some of the sneakers that she buys me. Excuse me. And the good thing about it is, is um, again, if you look at previous videos of mine, my mindset, I'm, I'm typically uh, majority of my closet is filled with red, black, and white. <laughs> So majority of everything I wear is usually red, black, or white. And this was uh, uh, one of the videos I shot maybe a year ago. So, But my wife always says, you need to break out of that mold. You need to get into more colors. You look nicer in more colors. So what she does is she buys sneakers in just a different colorway just to throw me off. It forces me to go out and buy or even make because I have a clothing, clothing brand that I actually manufacture. And so I make clothing. To, that goes with my sneakers um, and she started it out she kicked it off with a pair of uh, um, Jordan 1 the uh, electric orange Jordan 1's so this came in the mail I open it up and what we have here is a pair of I kind of like these boxes that slide out they're a little bit more sturdier in my opinion I have a pair of Allen Iverson question or Reebok question mid and this was uh this was a surprise and i tell you why one i would never think that my wife would buy me a pair of sneaker uh reebok sneakers and two uh you know i actually use like uh the questions by alan iverson so uh, I asked her what made her buy me these and she's like the only thing she said was they were a different color uh, so this is nice, man. I like this sneaker. It's sturdy. Uh, I am a uh, Allen Iverson fan. I wasn't a big Phillies fan, but uh, I was a fan of the player Allen Iverson. And uh, pretty much, I can't say I, I was more so an adult when Allen Iverson came on the scene. So I, I'm not going to say I grew up with him, but you know, I, over the years, I, I saw when Allen Iverson came in the league and I watched him play, watched him achieve things. So uh, I was an Allen Iverson fan, uh, and I never. Uh, I never purchased his sneakers before. Um, probably, uh, let's see, me and my wife have been together now for about nine years. We've known each other 10 years. And over the last eight years, I, uh, I've really just started acquiring sneakers or becoming uh, sort of a sneakerhead. So prior to me meeting my wife, I never wore sneakers. I was in a corporate environment where I wore suit and ties every day. So I never wore sneakers. So I'm excited um, when I get new sneakers or just going out and looking at sneakers or even buying sneakers for my son. I, Cause as you see, I do shoe reviews for him, but these are nice, man. A uh, little bit of weight on them. I love the detail in it. Uh, as you can see here in the, uh, the lace eyelets or the lace loops, it says Reebok has the, the Reebok symbol here or logo here. Uh, I love the I love the bottoms of these, how it, it you know the clear bottom with Reebok in it with the Reebok emblem in it. That's actually really nice. And it has that I guess is that air bubble technology. So. These are probably the first pair of sneakers I had with this, this in it, but I do like how uh, 
uh, how clear that is and you have the blue behind that as well the tone is sort of netted netted this is nice you know i'm used to like jordans where if this would probably be patent leather but this has like a glittery type of leather on it and uh it's nice i have to add it has the actual number three on there for alan iverson on the back i love that detail I'm gonna do some ISOs as well as I'm talking. You can see, if you're seeing some of this stuff that I'm seeing, but this is an absolute gorgeous shoe. Here in the sole, which that's actually, I don't know, that's kind of dope. In the sole of the shoe, it actually has uh, a picture of Allen Iverson, uh, half of his face in there on the sole in both, both shoes. These are nice, man. I like these. Um, yeah, growing up again, I, I not growing up, but you know, just uh, through my travels, I've seen people with these on, and yeah, you know, I I guess I wasn't a sneaker person, so I, it really I did, it didn't it didn't phase me, um, but now being more into sneakers and seeing these, I like these, man. And uh, um, again, I got these yesterday, so I immediately went and made uh, a hoodie to go with these, and I'll show you that in a minute, but. Uh, my wife never ceases to amaze me with uh, what she would buy me and force me to step outside my box. And I like that. I love it, actually, um, because I probably would not have purchased these on my own had I seen them. But she knows how to uh, she knows how to get me into it. So, I, I you know, I say I'm a sneakerhead, but I, I guess I can say my wife is making me a sneakerhead. And again, these the detail in these are super nice. I'm loving the. Uh, the back of them has the uh, Reebok Question logo here in the back, number three down here. And there's just that ice blue sole. This is a nice sneaker, man. And, and again, I made a sweat a sweat uh, hoodie to go with these. And you know what? Let me go get the hoodie and I'll be right back. Okay, here's the hoodie that I made. Uh, and this hoodie is an ode to Allen Iverson. So, uh, you know, you have the 76ers there in the center. You have the Reebok question for the shoes right there. And you got the AI uh, logo right there. So, yeah, this hoodie is pretty much, you see Iverson around the, the the rim of the hoodie itself. But yeah, look at that, man. That looks nice. Nice, nice, nice. I actually ordered to fit it, a 76ers fit it from Lids. And that should come in the mail soon. And I can't wait, man. But, yeah, you can see how that hits right there. It's gonna hit nice. Sweatshirt's a little bit more wider actually than the shoes are, but you know, this is outdoor in the sun too. So you can kind of really see it with a pair of jeans or anything in between that, everything pops nice. But yeah, I made this hoodie as an old uh, AI. All right, so let's talk about what I like and what I don't like about these. What I like about them, I love that blue and white color. Uh, this red, white, and blue colorway on it. Um, I really like this. It seems to be it's a sturdy shoe, a real sturdy shoe. So if I did play ball in them, I'd feel okay. I feel like I have a lot of support in playing with these. I like that. I like the details and the eyelets, how they did Reebok there, and I really like uh you know how they did here in the inside with the. Uh, with the with the the inside uh sole has the little half face of Allen Iverson. I thought thought that was a really really nice touch. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, so what if I had to critique this shoe? Um, uh, you know one thing I have to figure out. Um, I'm gonna put this on my feet to see, but these are a little bit more bulkier than I typically like because Jordans are a little bit more slim. But you know what? I really can't complain because my wife buys me a lot of, uh, she, she buys me um, the six ring sneakers and they're a little bit bulky and I wear those. So these are nice. So man, that's really not a dig really. So I can't really, <laughs> I can't really say anything about these I don't like. Um, you saw the hoodie that I made with it. I'm going to make other shirts and stuff to go with this as well. And yeah, these, I'm going to rock these. So if I had to give these a rating on a scale of one to 10, uh, for me, these would probably be uh, a solid nine. 
these are a solid nine for me. Um, it's unique. It's different. A little bit of nostalgia in it because it's you know it's centered around Allen Iverson, and uh, I like it. So you know what? That's gonna do. That's gonna do it for this uh, this video and this shoe review. Again, uh, this is not like a professional shoe review like most people do. Uh, I'm an average guy, just like some of you out there. Um, I'm not a sneakerhead. I'm becoming more of a sneakerhead through my wife and through my own efforts as well. And if I get new shoes, I'll just come out and do a quick video of them because I do the same thing when I'm looking for a different shoe. I may see it online. The first thing I do is I go to YouTube and I look up the videos on it just to see if, you know, something online, you see it, uh, just a picture of it. I love to see like the, you know, someone touching it and handling it so that I kind of know, you know what to expect. And sometimes through video, you can see the color a lot better or whatever. So uh, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, if this is your first time watching me, what I need you to do is like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so when I post these videos, you'll be amongst the first to see them. And as always, build a better you, invest in yourself, see the dream, and make it happen.